What's going on guys? You guys had wedding planning questions, wedding photography questions, and I have your answers. So in this week's video, we're going over the question of what is a first look and should you do one? Now, the answer to this question is it really depends. Like most questions are gonna have the same answer. Um, but what is a first look? A first look is pretty much exactly that. It's the first time that you see your fiance, your soon to be husband or wife uh, on your wedding day. So this could be somewhere outside your getting ready venue or outside your ceremony venue, um, or perhaps somewhere where we plan on having the portrait session happen immediately afterwards. So generally speaking, we're trying to pick out a nice scening location. Time of day is also very important. Um, I highly advise against shooting around the noon and um, kind of like those hours of the day where the sun is very high and harsh, uh, if at all possible, we try to plan around that time so that we're not shooting during that time or we're trying to pick a location that's kind of like in a shaded area um, to kind of make the best of the image quality that we're able to produce there. Um, so the first look, you, generally speaking, what you can expect is uh, in the most traditional sense, the groom is facing away um, from where the bride is coming. The bride comes behind, taps the shoulder, the groom comes around, and you guys see each other for the first time. There's of course uh, plenty of variations that you can uh, play with around with this. The bride can stop short and say that she's there, that the groom turns around, so there's a little bit more space between you guys. Um, I've seen uh, ways to do it where you're kind of like around the wall and you guys just kind of like hold hands first and then come around and see each other. So it really depends on the location that you guys choose and how you'd like to um, execute that part of the first look. Um, there's of course no right or wrong way to do it. And of course, in the most traditional sense, if you're having a religious ceremony many times, you don't wanna see each other until uh, the procession, until the groom is up on the, by the altar and the doors open up of the church and the sun is shining from behind, you know, illuminating the whole veil and the dress behind and your bride comes walking towards you and uh, that's also a beautiful moment to do it that way as well. Now, one of the benefits of doing it the first way I described, uh, somewhere bef sometime before the ceremony actually starts is we're able to start your portrait session much earlier in the day if your ceremony is later in the day. So rather than waiting around until the ceremony starts and then having all of your portraits after the ceremony, we're able to knock that out before the ceremony starts and then go straight from ceremony to family photos to cocktail hour and then start enjoying the rest of the night. Um, so from a time, from a scheduling perspective, the first look, depending also on the time of year, might be a good benefit and a nice option to consider. If you only have one photographer uh, for your wedding, then we might have to kind of recreate a couple of the angles during the first look, just for the sake of telling the story more uh, cohesively. If you have two photographers, we're able to cover multiple angles at the same time and um, you know capture it the first time that it happens. Right after the first look is where we generally get into the bridal party photos, or if you don't have a bridal party, then just your bride and groom portrait session. Um, and it's kind of a nice transition from the getting ready to the portrait session part of the day. If you have a ceremony that's later in the day, like I said before, it might be beneficial to have a first look just so we're making the most use of daylight outside. Uh, if you are getting ready in the summertime, then um, you know maybe if your ceremony is earlier and we have plenty of time bef between the end of the ceremony and the cocktail hour, then maybe a first look is not as necessary from a scheduling perspective. But of course, it's a nice little thing to do um, to capture more photos that way. So I hope this video helped. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the comment section down below if you're watching this on YouTube. If you found this on Instagram or anywhere else, uh, same, likewise, just leave a comment down below or DM me your questions that you have about planning your wedding, anything wedding or wedding photography related. I'm happy to help. And uh, I hope to see you here back for next week's video. All right, follow me on Instagram, jredziniak, and my website is jacobredziniak.com. Of course, I can be contacted either by DM on Instagram or info at jacobredziniak.com. Hope to see you guys next week, and I hope this helped. Take care, bye-bye.